Our top story is the weather. A nor'easter Monday night into Tuesday morning slammed much of central Massachusetts. It brought snow and ice to the Worcester area, causing slick roads and canceling school. Ice was a major concern during this morning's commute, and there wasn't much relief during the day with the chilly temperatures. Our Andy Madison joins us live now outside with the details. Andy. Good evening, Olivia. It started as rain yesterday evening and then overnight it brought sleet, freezing rain and some snow as well. And as you mentioned, the heavy winds and this morning it made for a tough morning commute. It's a typical response in Massachusetts this time of year. Yes, I'm used to it. <laughs> snow and ice coating streets and sidewalks bringing out the plows and shovels Tuesday morning to clean up some school districts got a snow day from the weather the ice kept other people off the roads nobody was going anywhere today for work or anything with the road conditions so we'll just we'll just pace ourselves and get it all done before dark that's the idea chilly temperatures didn't seem to let up thanks to strong winds bearing down on those spending time outside in the cold. Super windy, yeah, it actually kept me up uh, for some time last night and you hear the ice hitting the windows and it was, uh, yeah, it was a little scary. In the city, crews were busy clearing streets. When I came out to put the trash out around like seven, it was already plowed, it was looking decent. For some drivers, it took a little longer to get to work this morning and there are more advisories tonight to keep an eye out for icing as the nor'easter moves out of the area. I'd rather deal with a foot, a foot and a half of snow than any ice at all if possible. The city's Department of Public Works put all 300 pieces of equipment to use this morning, clearing streets and salting the roads as well. But they might be in for a long night because there's a freezing rain advisory in effect this evening for so southern Worcester County. And of course, everyone will keep an eye on the temperature and the possibility of black ice. Olivia. All right, Andy, thank you for that.